So I'm on a mission to make a sword that can kill God and make a bunch of money while doing it. I found this stranger's house and I beat a man in a dice game behind the Arby's and I inherited his forgery. So now I just need to make sure I put my fuel in the right spot. Get in there. It says smelter, zero ores, four fuel. It's a good sign I'm doing it right. What are these little burnt french fries? Get in Yoink. there. Oh yeah, one copper ore, four fuel. I'm on my way. Now if I just smack everything in its spot, I can't make these swords yet. All right, just make some ingots, I guess. Do I have any more around? No. All right, we'll dump my lava hot ingot into some random water. That'll cool it down. Make another. Oh, bridge. It leads to this nice little rock wall. 50 energy and excavating the local cave permit. Man, the city's always trying to prevent me from just destroying mountains. Ingot two in, make, and in you go. Do I have anything else around here I can do? Oh, some of these are like blueberry. Oh, I can take them. Can I cook them? Do you cook blueberries? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's like a little slide. <laughs> I guess let me just collect a bunch of these up because I wonder if I can sell these at a shop somewhere. Get in the bucket. No, we're being different. Thank you. Any other blueberry bush eye? Plural of bushes. Two bushels of berries. All right, throw my ingots on this cart as well. I can't make weapons yet. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to buy the blueprints and I found even more berry bushes. I don't know how many people wanna eat blueberries that are just sitting on a wooden cart, but hey, whatever turns me a profit. And now since my mind was that way, I think I'm at the end of the road. So I'm assuming town's gonna be over here. It's not really a street sign or Google maps. It's just kind of vibes in my manly intuition. Here's hoping a beast doesn't try and attack me or something. Can this go any faster? Can I like sprint? No? Wait, I have an idea. This game has an FOV slider. Game trick. Speed is always relative to your field of view. Oh yeah. Now we're zooming. We'll be at the market in no time, baby. I found the shopping market. What is this? Aqua crystals? Oh, I can buy blueberries for a coin. I'm assuming that means one blueberry is one coin. Is this where I do it? Is the only open table? Oh yeah. From 10 to 11. It's crazy. It's a one-to-one -one turnaround. It's Dump them all on the table. Here, buy my berries. <laughs> There's no health department in this world. All my berries sell for 33 gold. How much do my ingots sell for? Ooh, five each. Get you up to be 15. That puts me at 59. This bulletin board. Oh, okay, yes. Oh, it's 50 to buy the local cave permit. Excavate a local cave, mine raw materials. Exactly what I want. Thank you. Well, I've got nine coins left. I can buy, I guess, some more ores, but I did just get access to everything. What are these books? Oh, it's how I make my stuff. Oh my gosh, this is expensive. Looks like first I need to get daggers and then I can get swords one and swords two. All right, begin this insanely long journey back home. Y'all got Spotify around here, maybe. That'd be nice. Honey, I'm home. Wait, why is it 9 a.m. and it's like an eclipse out here right now? But I mean, I guess just go to bed. Is it still gonna be dark out a little bit? But now it's, wait, it's 5 a.m.? I slept for like six hours. Oh, it's dawning on me that it's probably not adjusting the time right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In this world, there's no PM. It's just 1st AM and 2nd AM. All right, Mr. Cave, bust it open. Thank you. That took, oh my gosh, half of my energy. What are we having here? Okay, just a copper and coal deposit. Sweet. Oh, mushrooms. Neat. And I can eat these. It's giving me like two energy back. Wow. I'm really just living off the land here, huh? All right, break me my copper. Give me four. And for you, I was able to get two coal, but now my energy is gone. I think that means every day I can get like 10 little ingoty guys. It's not bad. All right, pitch the copper into the forbidden soup. Let me just dump my bucket in there because I'm about to two for one this. Ingot gets poured in, ingot gets dumped into water into bucket, repeat as needed. Does anyone else kind of just want to take like a sip out of it? It's like a running faucet and you're just really thirsty. No, just me. All right, well, my fault. I think with four copper ingots, I'll probably have enough for the daggers, but I wonder. If I just take a quick six hour nap, I get a lot of my energy back. Oh, my copper's mined out for the day. Man, I forgot these things have a limit. Why can't all matter just be infinite? All right, I'm leaving the car behind because I only have the bucket and I run much faster than I walk. Hopefully that's the same for everyone. Otherwise, if you're being chased by a murderer, well, it's been nice knowing you. Don't mind me as I frolic through this wheat field like a fun little farm fairy thing. Or I just put a curse on it and soon all the crops will just be burned and the earth salted. Can't wait for them to find out. Dump that on there. Give me 29 bucks. Okay, with that, I can buy daggers and have nine coins left over. In that case, 
Let's just buy some copper and a coal piece. I wonder if I'm gonna have enough daylight to make an actual dagger. I mean, it's 5.30 in the morning, so you'd think, but doesn't seem to be so. What is this little path? Oh, that's an invisible wall. All right, that's what I get for exploring. My face smushed against forces I can't comprehend. Honey, I'm home. Can I request a cat to be around this place? I get kind of lonely just myself here. Whatever, dump the copper in. So I believe I'll need two for the dagger belay, which I had tickets to go to a belay once. My date stood me up. All right, put this cheddar cheese stick on the anvil and punch and punch and punch a third time, punch a fourth time. There we go. Everybody knows you have to hit hot metal four times and then you get a perfect sword shape. I'll need a cross guard and then another ingot, I believe. Do I? No, I don't need to cool this down. All right, because I believe what I have to do is put an ingot and a plank on this and I can make a hilt. I don't must be cold. Oh, kind of forgot to cool that off. That's my bad. First day on the job. Now. Now we hilt. Nope, still not cool enough. My fault. Now we make a hilt. There we go. It just morphed into each other. What's that? Get the hilt, the cross guard, poking stick, and then we get a dagger. Neat. How much will this sell for? Find out eventually. Ah, I need to sleep. Bright and early for a new day of fun. And now I know you can eat food to get energy back. Which makes me think I need to make a berry bucket like this and then just take it with me into the mines. I don't really have an inventory system, so eating food kind of depends on what's near me nice if I could just put them in my backpack for future use or something. For now though, they sit at the mine gaining salt. Can I know that the ore hasn't refreshed yet? Wait, I can break this? What's behind here? Oh, I need a pickaxe made out of copper, 50 energy. I can upgrade my tools? Well, this just got interesting. All right, come here, Mr. Dagger. Time to sprint back and maybe stab a tree every once in a while. I should actually put the sword on a bucket before I go, because I think I'm gonna need to buy a bunch of copper ore. If I can't mine it, that's kind of my only option. From $0 to 23. Wow, that's sufficient. So you need one copper for a guard, one copper for an ingot, and two for a belay. Need four coal to cook all that. So every time I make a dagger and bring it back, that's $11 profit? Wow. How many things can I fit in my bucket? Okay, I'm, I'm one two over, I think. It's stacking, man. Okay, we'll just hang out there for a sec. Wait, can I just sell you back? Yeah, sweet. Come on, goodies. At least I'll be getting my cardio in from all this back and forth sprinting I gotta do. Let's get all of you put into here and make me up another. I guess it's kind of nice to still have my blueberries right here because once I finish hammering something, I can just eat a bunch of them like this. There is an upgrade button too. I need eight ingots to get to the copper hammer and eight for the copper pickaxe. And I don't think I can use the hatchet or shovel yet, but now I can make my hilt and get me another dagger. Put you like that. I wonder now that it's 1.50 in the morning, I don't really remember whenever I mine the stuff, but what if it just needs a full 24 hour cycle like me after any strenuous task? Are you ready yet? No. Every day I wake up and I'm disappointed. New plan. I just went and I slept for an entire day. <laughs> There's still, no, how are you not back? Maybe I really do just need to buy the rest of all my stuff. Now I think what I wanna do is take my dagger, coat it in blueberries, because as far as effort cost ratio goes, these blueberries are sweet. It's literally one to one. And even if a bush only gives me three blueberries, that's still like a copper ingot made. I already know how this one goes. Can I, what, what? Wheelie wagon. What, what, what's happening? What's happening? I'm ascending. I'm in, someone help. Someone help me, call my mom. Call my mom, I'm scared. What? Let go of the- <laughs> What? <laughs> Give me my money, please. Well, that's an interesting thing to see happen in the town square. I'm a professional at this now. Got my bucket of oars. <laughs> to just hope I don't go flying again. I've got 13 copper in this thing. My payday is about to be huge. I've got my harvest. Time to go reap what I'm owed. 46 off my daggers, 51 off the berries. Up to 62 total. So now I can buy swords one. Now my swords can be even longer, which I assume means even more money. What I'm really curious on is clearing this blocked road. It just takes a thousand gold to get, but I wanna know what's in in there. Looks like short sword's gonna take three ores. Okay, well, things just keep getting pricier and pricier. Huh. Pop one of those up. Also, if my basic elementary school math is correct, I have eight copper ingots, which means let me smack all these down and I can upgrade into my copper pickaxe that just, oh, it's in my lungs. They're in my lungs. But, all right, hammer the short sword up. Oh, pretty decent. I just realized these are spelled cross guard instead of guard. After how much running I've done and the uh, insane amount of oxygen deprivation that's in my system. I can't blame anyone for getting that wrong. And no, I don't have any more planks. I think I have to run back to the shop just to buy a plank so I can make my short sword. Dang it. Hey, Oars, I don't need you guys anymore. All right. I've got the next area unlocked with 
Is this diamond? What are you? Oh, it's iron. And then there's more copper and coal in here. Sweet. Eating these mushrooms, I mean, not really worth it now that I think about it, because it's like one extra swing if I ate seven of them. But wait, with two iron, I can plop those on in there. And I should be able to make up an iron dagger. I still need more plank wood things, but I've at least... No, I can't hammer this until I get a copper hammer, it looks like. Okay, stay on the coals. I got ahead of myself. I feel like this takes much less energy to mine things, which I welcome with open arms. It's like watching one of those old 3D movies. About to get sick because I keep doing it too. <laughs> I just hit E on accident. We set up public transportation, like a bullet train to get me here. They cut down on my commute time, I think would help me out. Gives me 11 coins. Can stack some planks up like that. Did that work? I think I'll have to like slant them in like this. As everybody says, there we go. With that dropped off, I can finally make my short sword, which that doesn't even feel that short. I feel like this is like, this is an average. It's probably bigger than average, actually, now that I think about it. Just plop you on there. Now, I saw a very interesting and fun fact while I was over at the market. So it's time to do a little testing. Does this make an iron hilt? Yes, it does. So if I were to just beat the crap out of this thing for another little copper short sword. You know, these still haven't regen. Wait, let's try something. I left the game and I came back. Did that? No, they're, they're still gone. All right. I've still got this little mushroom to keep me company. But before I go to the market, what I want to know is can I just use the iron hilt and cross guard and then still make a short sword? Yep. Yes, I can. Time to compare those prices and see if there's any difference whatsoever. Hello, my ghost managed random table. Put you down. All my blueberries for a little bit money. Gives me 23. Sweet. So a normal copper short sword sells for 27. So I think it takes 15 gold to make it, which is a profit of 12, which I think is one more than the dagger. Weird. But then this copper short sword is 187. Yep, just pick that up. Thanks, game. <laughs> Gives me $200. Buying swords too, for sure. With that, I can buy one iron ore because it sells for 82. Now time to just load up on copper and coal. Pretty important to not forget the planks too. Back home where I've got my copper hilt and cross guard set. Cut my wood shelf stocked up. And now I've got a bunch of copper ingots waiting. I've got three copper in the smelter. What happens if I add an iron? Oh, it just spits it out. Man, I thought that might be how I make bronze or something. Anyways, dump those on the table. Because with this, I can make my copper hammer. So hopefully now I can hammer out this iron. Yes. And get cool and off, friend. Because I can combine the iron dagger with the copper hilt and cross guard. I've got like a little chimera of sorts. This looks stabby. And now does this speed up my normal hammering at all? No, it's still going to take four hits. Had to check. Oh, I have a short sword blade in here. Forgot all about you. I guess I miscounted the amount of copper that I had, but I still need to go sell this puppy and see what it's worth. So it took me one iron that I bought for 82 bucks, two copper at four. That brings us to 86 and then three coal altogether brings us to $89 to make this. And my return is 103. You know, I'll accept it. Just do that 10 more times and I'll have enough stuff to get to this old cave. Maybe in there I'll find my god killer. 